it is energy required to remove an electron from outermost orbit of gaseous element so it is important gaseous element is important yes so example if we have sodium gaseous element when it form sodium plus gas plus one electron so the release one electron eject the one electron from sodium some energy required that energy is called ionization energy so you have to provide the energy and that energy is called ionization energy yes or no other example magnesium md gas it takes some energy and electron is released so mg plus plus one electron so this must be in gas yes these are the example of ionization energy why sodium in gaseous state when lose an electron form sodium plus in gaseous state and the energy required for this is called ionization energy and it has only one electron loss of only one electron therefore there is no ionization energy one and two only ionization energy but as you know that magnesium has two valence electron and when there is a loss of single electron and at that time the energy required that energy is called ionization energy first and when mg plus release one electron to form mg two and loss of one electron then this ionization energy is called i2 for mg identify the reaction which represent ionization energy so what is the definition of ionization energy energy required to remove an electron from gaseous element to form the ions in gaseous state so energy required to remove an electron from gaseous atom to form ions in gaseous state so sodium solid here and this is also gas so this is not the correct explanation see here sodium solid here aqueous not the correct explanation sodium liquid and sodium gas this is also not the correct explanation sodium liquid to sodium aqueous not correct explanation so half of h2 gas to h plus gas yes yes or no yes sir so it is also wrong so first of all energy required to make it atom single atom that is bond dissociation energy therefore it is not represent the ionization energy see here so here gain of electron yes gaseous to gaseous mg gaseous to gaseous so it is not necessary that always the loss of two electron if there is a single electron loss then it is also called ionization energy so this is true what about this see here hydrogen gas and this is also gas therefore it represent yes or no so this is true but this is not true factor effecting ionization energy so know that for ionization electron will be ejected from outermost and if more z effective that is more nuclear charge it means valence electron are more tightly bonded with tightly attracted with nucleus so ejection will be difficult so higher energy is required it means that ionization energy depends on effective nuclear charge yes or no so first is ionization energy is directly proportional to effective nuclear charge yes or no and if there are shielding by inner electron then ionization energy decrease yes or no therefore ionization energy second ionization energy 
is inversely proportional to sigma. What is sigma? Shielding constant. So you can say shielding constant. Shielding constant or sigma. And this is effective nuclear charge. Third, tell me. Third factor. Yes. So if distance increases, it means they are more far from nucleus. Therefore, ionization energy is inversely proportional to radius, atomic radius. Yes or no? Factor. Periodic trend for ionization energy. What is the periodic trend? So as we know that it is inversely to atomic radius, it means ionization energy, the order of ionization energy will be yes or no? So it will increase. Yes or no? Yes. So it is inverse of the atomic radius. But there are some irregularity in general trend. This is a general trend, mind it. This is the general trend. So there are some irregularity in ionization energy. What are the irregularity? So irregularity in period. So you know that they have same cell, same orbit, but different orbitals. So we know that fulfill, right on, fulfill orbital has half filled, then partial field. So full field or vital has higher ionization energy compared to half field than partial field. Because this is the stability of electrons. They are more stable in this. So you must remember just to their neighbor. Just neighbor. So what is the order of ionization energy? So as you know that Ionization energy increases in the period, therefore, order will be this. Yes or no? But this is wrong. This is not the order of ionization energy. Why? Yes, you have to check the valence electron. It is in fulfill orbital or half field or partially filled. So, see here for this electronic conversion is. Valence electronic person is 2s1, it is 2s2, it is 2s2, 2p1, this is 2p2, this is this is this is so from this observation you know that this is full field and this is partially fail. So see here, just never. Fulfill as higher than partially failed. Just never. So this is also partial, partially failed. This is also partially failed. But uh, beryllium has higher energy only to just never. That is boron. So order will be, the new order will be first lithium then boron and carbon has higher energy than beryllium because it is not just neighbor. So beryllium then carbon. 
Now tell me nitrogen oxygen. So see here nitrogen is 3. So this is 3 that is half filled and oxygen is P4 that is partially filled because total number of electron in this is 6. This is also partially filled. This is also partially filled. But oxygen is just never. Therefore the order will be first oxygen then nitrogen then fluorine so this is the right order yes or no so this is called ionization energy ionization order of ionization energy or i1 first ionization energy first ionization energy